Welcome on in everyone. Let's do a little clearing of the space. And while we do this, let me make a few disclaimers here that are necessary. If you've not heard this before, all I ask is that you sit through and listen to it one time. If you've already seen it, then you can go on and fast forward into the reading, okay? Number one, I've got to say this for the YouTube moderators. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, you know, if they eventually want to take this down, then, you know, all my censored content goes to BitChute and Odyssey. If you want to know more about that, watch to the very end. I'll have information. Of course, links are down below in the description box. I also want to say, because this is for entertainment purposes only, do your own research, okay? I am not your fact checker, all right? You be your fact checker. Number two, those of you who are wondering my disposition, it's a good question that you need to ask of anybody who's given any kind of commentary. I am awake. I am not woke. I don't believe we're in Kansas anymore. If you think we still are, go, you know, that's good for you. <laughs> I'm not going to stand in your way. Believe what you want. Okay. But I do have to say that I will in this reading discuss some things that you might not agree with and we're all adults so you can click away if you are not comfortable with people having a difference of opinion. Also, I will use code speak here, slang, uh, and some of you might think that's silly, but then again, so is censorship, so moving on. Y'all are free to disagree. I'm a freedom-loving Aquarian, so yes, absolutely share your agreement and disagreement in the comments down below. Just understand that if you're gonna cite sources from places like CNN, you might get schooled. You might get laughed out of the comment section because, <laughs> as I said before, I'm awake, not woke. And finally, number three, uh, in case you hadn't figured it out, I am not your typical tarot reader. Um, if politics is not your thing, then please know I've got a lot of relationship coaching content here on my channel. I do relationship readings live every full moon, new moon. If you want to be notified of that, make sure that you uh, look at my stuff at the end to get more information. If you do like my political content, please know that I've got a lot more of that on uh, platforms where I won't be censored, or at least for now, I'm free to speak more openly about politics. Information will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very end for that. That being said, let's get into this reading with a cleared space. All right, welcome on in. Let's look at the week ahead with politics and see what's going on. We've already got some cards coming out. Oh, business owners, ninth house, Taurus stuff, Klaus Schwab, censorship. Let's see. Oh, that one didn't want to come back. Let's see. Stable coins. Yeah, I'm going to have a video for y'all on, you know, crypto and precious metals and the stock market. So I think there's going to be a lot of talk about these stable coins um, over the next week. And, you know, Terra Luna is part of that conversation. <laughs> Wow, we're getting a lot, a lot of cards. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, Terra Luna is part of that conversation with stable coins because uh, apparently it was stable and not so stable. All right. It got crashed last week. So now, you know, the government is, look at that censorship came out twice and I didn't even know I had that in there twice. Okay. Um, the government is now trying to rescue us from ourselves um, and wanting to regulate a crisis, which arguably was manufactured. Yes, um, rumors are that you know, this was, this Terra Luna collapse was manufactured by BlackRock. Can I say that here? <laughs> and Citadel. Yes, there are some news reports. If you want to hear more about that, I talk about that specifically in part three of May's astrology, which I can't put on here. It's censored content. So if you want to watch my censored May astrology content, where I go into money, economics, politics, it is over on BitChute and Odyssey. I will put the links in the comments down below and I will pin it. But let's see what this is. Um, wow, this is a lot going on. Okay, uh, let me try to sort out. So yeah, I think that we're going to be getting a lot more talk in the next week having to do with Ripple XRP and stable coins. Give me a moment, I need to sort this out and see. Okay. 
So I'm getting a few topics here that are going to come up. Um, there is an issue of people awakening, obviously, and there's been a lot of censorship going on. And I think it might tie into what's been going on with social media. I'm getting a vibe off of this card that um, the masses are starting to wake up because these issues are hitting close to home. It is starting to hit their pocketbooks. And when you start getting into people's money, then they start waking up, okay? There is some kind of contrast here of, you know, people who have been in, you know, mass formation, psychosis, um, mm, but there is an awakening that's happening. And I think honestly, by telling them what they can't talk about, what they can't look at, that's actually having the opposite effect that slowly people are beginning to see, um, hey, wait a minute, there is a problem here. And I think that they're starting to connect the dots that a lot of the conspiracy theorists um, are actually being proven correct. And I see a lot of this happening, this awakening occurring with online communities, social media, I do also see that uh, people who are awake globally are connecting in a way that they never have before. They're helping usher in this awakening process. It's kind of a sure and steady, you know, right? It's, I don't know why I'm getting the tortoise and the hare, you know, and, and the tortoise wins the race, right? Like uh, maybe things aren't happening fast enough in your opinion, but they're happening. And the progress is legitimate. It's real. It's viable. And it's for the long term. Um, you know, once these people get awakened, you can't un unwake them, right? You know, they're not going to go back to sleep. And uh, this is really reaching a, a, quite a broad scale is what I'm seeing here. But part of the hastening process, and I never use that word, but it's like, this is what I'm hearing. What's hastening all of this or quickening all of this is how this is affecting people's pocketbooks. And it's like, you know what? You can't ignore it anymore. When you're looking at, at it at the gas pump, when you're looking at it in the grocery store, when you're looking at it, you fill in the blank. You can't ignore, deny, suppress, hide the reality. You can't continue walking in lockstep formation anymore. And so there's an awakening that is happening. I think that over the next week, um, there might be more talk. Uh, I'm getting also having to do with the disinformation uh, board that was formed. We are probably going to see more discussion of that and more pushback of that, which is positive. For now, by the way, that's on pause. Okay. Let's see what's going on with these business owners over the next week and something having to do with the with money matters and the financial system and finding strength and stability for business owners. And I'm talking about the small business owners. I'm talking about the people who make up the backbone of the economy here in America and they always have. Well, that looks pretty darn good. There could be something uh, occurring where there's some type of advancement coming in and it might have to do with contracts. There might be as well some kind of legislation or instruction being offered over the next week where people are learning or they are starting to, I've just heard litigation. I don't know why I heard litigation like set laws in place to protect the small business owners and their finances to encourage more stability and security with small business owners. That's quite interesting. I don't even know that anything like that is in the works right now, but I'm hearing a banding together and people starting to actually say, we need to protect the small business owners. We need to empower them with legislation that actually protects them. I'm not saying regulates them and, and, and makes promises to, you know, protect them, but actually runs them out of business with fines and fees and whatnot. <laughs> All right. Um, and, and I feel like this actually belonged over here. The more I sit with it where, um, yeah, a lot of these people that they, they've, a lot of these people that have been 
asleep. You know, they, they've been fluoridated, okay? Um, and I just heard whoever's still walking in lockstep with this, they are under some kind of spell or they are like, look, this is like forced medication, right? Uh, lowered IQ is what I'm getting off of that as well, but I'm also getting that some people are indebted to the system. They are hopelessly dependent on the system. And that's why you're not going to get any movement away. What about with the next week with these uh, stable coins, Ripple? Oh, wow. Bad investment is what this is saying. And I got something similar uh, for the... You know, if you want to know more about this, go watch my video that I'm going to have coming out here on YouTube doing tarot for crypto and the stock market and precious metals. I do sense that these are some big heavy headers, some major players who are actually creating some obstacles, making these uh, challenges, they're manufacturing collapses. I just heard toppling, okay? Like, what we saw last week with Terra Luna making it a bad investment. Based on the cards, right, I am not a financial advisor. You probably don't want to invest in any stable coins. Definitely XRP Ripple next week. Those of you who can move it to something else and, and hold on for dear life and do so because I'm getting also with that hodl, uh, some sense of volatility, like you, you need to, pos I just heard position yourself, okay, because we know that a lot of these coins are not going to make it. I've heard a lot of people, experts, and I'm certainly not one of them, but I listen to them. And they say that most of these altcoins, stable coins, shit coins, um, 90 to 99 percent of them will ultimately fail. Uh, in the coming years, there will be consolidation. And there is that kind of thing going on. The, there's, I don't want to get off into a tangent about it because I talked more already in the other video about it, but... Uh, there are major players with deep pockets. I'm talking institutional investors like BlackRock, Citadel, who are actually doing these artificial pump and dumps. These whales are coming in, disrupting the market, making it artificially volatile to scare people, to run them off, to take their money, and passing legislation on these exchanges so that if the exchanges go bankrupt, they don't owe you your money. Uh, be very careful because I'm particularly when we're talking about stable coins, Tether, USD, DAI, D A I, probably pronouncing that wrong, correct me in the comments down below if you know how to pronounce that properly. Um, I, I'd stay out of that. Absolutely stay out. I, I mean, I, me personally, I don't have any investments in these because uh, I've only heard bad stuff bad bad stuff and the cards are now confirming that they're they're trying to go after the stable coins okay um klaus schwab big ag germany putin i am seeing something going on you know we've been hearing about a fertilizer issue out there and now i'm seeing i'm uh, wow something having to do with um, money blocks being stuck might have to do with um, transport. You know, this card came up last week. So again, I'm getting more of this overseas shipments, uh, cargo, things being stuck or slow in transport. And then with a the feather, well, this is a lot of money. A lot of money and now I'm also getting air travel. So anything traveling overseas, any goods being transported, particularly coming out of Germany, particularly tied. I just heard embargo. I just heard sanction. Um, hmm. I am getting the vibe these two are at odds and I'm being brought back to the, the words proxy war, okay? Um, be aware we are coming into more of this energy uh, more and more reports saying that there will be food shortages we will get deeper in recession it will become undeniably blatantly obvious by the end of this year starting in autumn so I've been warning my people on my channel since the beginning of this year to stockpile 
stockpile food. It's not only a hedge against inflation, it's kind of a safety net, okay? Because this is coming and it's a domino effect because a lot of our economy is already global. And at the foundation, I am getting the wings, rising above money issues, um, business is taking off, profit. Okay, so some of you really, your way out of all this mess, think about this this next week is, can you do a side hustle? Do you need to learn something? Do you need to make some boss moves with your money to get the advancement that you need and deserve? This is, again, I've been saying this ad nauseum, the North Node is in Taurus. That's about you finding your own feet, spreading your own wings, okay? Letting go of this Scorpio, other people's resources, government dependency nonsense, because you see what's going on here. Start growing your own food, start stockpiling, position yourself because this is all warning that there's BS going on in these markets. There's people who are trying to crash them, make them volatile, shake out the people who don't have diamond hands, can't hodl, emotionally, financially insecure. And on a deep material level, these transport issues are going to continue to be volatile. How much of a food supply do people need to be focusing on? How much of a food supply do people need to focus on? Okay. I am hearing that some of you, what you need to like Im immediately over the next week, very soon, you need to consider how you can build anywhere from a month to nine month food supply. And if that's just not doable, given your situation, um, maybe consider investing in big ag, right? big agriculture or just food, commodities, um, things that would be coming out of Germany, things that are in some way markets that are affected by the warfare going on with Putin. Try to invest in that and based on the profits made from the, those investments, you'll be able to rise above these money issues. All right, I hope that's helped y'all and blessed y'all. Till next time, y'all have a really good week. Oh, and make sure that if you haven't seen my censored content covering May's astrology, where I talk about the astrology in the context of current events with news, particularly concerning, yes, money, career, right? But also these political situations going on in the world at large. Well, make sure you check it out. It's over on BitChute. It's over on Odyssey. And I'll have the links pinned in the comments down below. Y'all have a great week.